I was uh, I was about nine, I believe, and I was singing a song by uh, Ramon Ayala, which is Tragos de Margo Licor. I've always been a fan of Ramon Ayala, and even more because my uncle Mario, Marichalar, he's uh, the lead vocalist for the band. So, I've always been a fan. I'm, I'm, I'm really, uh, how could I say, uh, travieso in Spanish. And the first time I actually told my mom that, you know, A.B. Quintanilla from the Cumbia Kings wanted, you know, me to go to his studio, she didn't want to believe me. She was at work at the time and she told me, she told me, you know, I'm working, call me back when you're serious. And she hung up on me. So I called her back and I told her and she's like, are you serious? I'm like, uh, duh. So, but anyways, that same day I went to the, to the studio and that's how everything happened. Whew. The first time I, I stepped on a stage, on a big stage, cause it's 15 guys, man. It was in Cancun actually, and it was for a festival, Festival Carnaval. And there was 75,000 people there. I'm used to performing in quinceañeras of my primas, you know, with maybe two, three hundred people, man. To perform with in front of seventy-five thousand people is pretty nerve nerve-wracking, man. The video was actually filmed in a beautiful, beautiful beach that was called the uh, Playa del Carmen. Beautiful beach, man. It was awesome. We had just performed that night before, actually. The, the my first performance was at 3 in the morning and we actually had to be at the hotel it was an hour away from the performance and then think about it that's an hour so that's four which only gives us another hour to get ready because we had to be at that beach at six in the morning so we basically got no sleep at all so we were there you know and it was my first time doing a, a video shoot or whatever I was nervous as hell once again and uh I had no sleep and they were getting everything ready and stuff and I was sitting on a chair, you know, just knocked out. But when I'm on the road and, you know, I'm away from home and stuff, the 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 things that I miss the most is, you know, first of all, number one on the list is my mom. You know, those little comiditas that she does in the afternoons and stuff, that's, you know, something that I miss. And second of all, you know, I'm a big, you know, truck guy. I'm a big trucks fan and stuff, so I miss, you know, driving my truck around and messing around like I always do. My dog, Brownie, that's a, that's a character and a half, man. He, you know, when I have nobody to be with or, or nobody that's here at home with me, I bring him inside and, you know, he just, all he wants to do is play and bite. When he gets bigger, he ain't, I ain't gonna be able to do that to him. <laughs> I'm pretty small right now. He likes to tear everything, chew everything up, right, Papa? He's a good boy. Look, he knows that he behaves when I grab him like this, right? Right, you behave, right? That's a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Stop. Be a good boy. Be a good boy.